I am at the Roche booth to learn all about its new continuous glucose monitor, the AccuCheck Smart Guide CGM. This CGM monitors glucose levels every five minutes, sends that to your phone, but it has a standout feature. It can predict glucose levels in advance. Why does it do this? Well, so it can send you alerts, whether those are for high glucose or low alerts, well in advance of them happening, so you can take action on your diabetes treatment and go to bed or go on that workout feeling fine. To learn more about the CGM, let's talk to someone from Roche. <laughs> I'm here with Hadid from Roche yeah. to talk about this sensor. Now, first of all, I just want to start with how does this sensor work with putting it on? What's that process kind of like? Uh, it's a seamless process for the patient, for the person with diabetes. All he has to do is take the device, which has the sensor inside it. He will twist it and then press it on his back arm, the back of the arm, and then the sensor lies there and that's it. Okay. And he will dispose of the applicator. Okay. Okay, and the wear length is 14 days? 14 days. Okay. So he will wear it for 14 days. He will get a notification on his mobile to replace the sensor two days before and two hours before the end of the lifetime of the sensor, and that's it. Okay. And why does Roche believe that predictions play, could play a key role in CGM technology? We've discovered that a lot of patients wear sensors but their time and range is not improving. So we're looking at the reason why is that. And we've seen that a lot of patients are, taking, are not taking enough decisions, so they need to have some support. We look at where we can provide them support, and we've seen that in the nighttime uh, hypoglycemic scene, in the nocturnal hypoglycemic is the situation. We've seen that the patient as well, or the people, would want to improve their quality of life, would want to improve how they react with the glucose levels. So we thought, okay, what is better than provide a person with a view of his future glucose levels while he lives his life uh, normally? So imagine if you wanna go into a podcast and it will take you an hour, an hour and a half, and you don't know how your glucose will look like, and you're in the middle of the podcast, and then your phone, your sensors start alarming you mm -hmm. of a possible hypoglycemia. What if, before going there, you open your app, you look at the next two hours, how your glucose will look like, and then you will be either assured that you're on the safe side, or you might see that you might go into a hypo or even a hyper, and then you can prepare yourself for that specific scenario by taking a precaution. That is exactly what we're trying to bring to the patient with the prediction. Yeah, and I'd say that there's definitely an anxiety with diabetes of like, when I'm going to sleep, like, what's gonna happen? You know, especially if you had some sort of late night meal or something. But at the same time, knowledge can sometimes cause more anxiety, because then I'm gonna see something and be like, well, it says I'm gonna go low, like what now? But so is the Roche CGM app also going to provide actionable things that the user can do in order to to prevent that possible high or low? So it provides him the overview of his glucose and it provides him suggestion of what he can do. Okay. So for example, the patient, if he's going to go to a hypoglycemia and at night, and if there's a high probability of that, the app will tell him what he might do and it will help him as well recalculate one more time that prediction overview to see if that action, if he has done, will help him or will not. So it's really a helping tool for the patient to be simply prepared or simply reassured that he just continue his life. So it's not about taking an actual action, it's about being prepared for action or being prepared just to lay down and be calm and just enjoy his life. That is the objective of the sensor and that is the objective of having prediction. It's just being prepared for any situation, okay. not necessarily take an action. Okay, so it's my understanding that this CGM is not a closed loop CGM. It's not going to talk to pumps necessarily, but you do have a pump. You have the AccuCheck Solo. Yes. Are there plans or hopes to connect the two to talk to each other? Yes, definitely. We are looking forward to provide the patient, the person with diabetes, with the most advanced technology. And that is something that we will look into in the future, but we cannot reveal more at this point in time. 
Okay. Real quick, I think it's time that we kind of see some of this in action. You have a phone app over there set yes. up. Yes. Yeah. Um, so let's go over there and, and check it out. Yep. And let's do it right now. Here we are. So there are two apps yes. in, in play here, right? Yeah. So explain that to us and, and tell us what we're looking at. So the first app is the Smart Guide app. It's a reader app where the, all the blood glucose level will fly from the sensor through Bluetooth technology to the app, okay. and it will create a trend as you can see here. So all the levels are customizable. The patient can look at the glucose levels and there are trend arrows to tell the patient how his glucose might look like. It goes up and down. And in this app, the patient actually can log in his insulin, can log in his carbs. So okay. that is the major app, that is the main one. Okay. And then through a button, a toggle button, the patient can move to the second app, which and is that the looks like the check. prediction. Exactly. So spot on. That is the Smart Guide Predict app. Okay. It's an app where it takes the glucose level from the patient, it takes the glucose pattern, and through AI, it generates a prediction for two hours, for the next two hours, so the patient can know how his glucose will look like. Mm -hmm. The beautiful part of this app is that it provides the patient with an overview patient can take action, as I've, such, as I've told you uh, just earlier, that within a podcast, he will look at it, oops, I'm in the norm, I don't need to do anything. Mm -hmm. He will go into his activity without being worried. And that's the benefit for the patient. That's what we're trying to provide him. Amazing. Uh, in addition to it, there are two major prediction features. The first one is the night low glucose predict. So in this feature, the patient will receive a notification on his mobile. It tells him on a daily basis the notification will arrive and it will tell the patient what is the probability of him having a hypoglycemia during his sleep time. And on the notification, you can see night law predicted, is it a normal risk, a high risk, or even a very high risk, and under which time range it will happen to the patient. So he will look, he will receive this notification, he will press on it, and it will tell him exactly how probable he will have a hypoglycemia. So if it's very highly likely, it will even suggest to the patient what he can do. Okay. So for example, here is a suggestion of you can take carbs, you can reduce your basal, and the beautiful part of it is he can rerun the calculation one more time mm -hmm. to get another perception of that hypoglycemia. And can, uh, are you setting a time period, like my bedtime is 11 p.m., I want this alert to come at 10.30 p.m. Exactly. Okay. Yes. Okay. And so, then there's low? So that is the night oh, low. Oh, that's the night low. That is the night low, as an example. And there is another option, which and you will see on the, on the predict app, you will see as well the two hours, you will see the cart, the in-app cart there, so all is well. And there is another feature, which is the low glucose predict. Okay. So if the patient within the next 30 minutes will receive, uh, will have a hypoglycemia event, he will receive an, a notification mm -hmm. that he will have definitely a hypoglycemia event and he has to act. Okay. So here the, 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 the beauty of this feature is it's not only to be knowledgeable or to be prepared, it is to take action. Okay. And the action here is literally doing and we suggest some action points for the patient, yeah. carbs, tablets. Ideally, the prediction provide the patient with more freedom, more preparation time, mm -hmm. and hopefully less glucose excursions. And that is the objective. Are, is there, has there been research done? Uh, like, is there a percentage of accuracy when it comes to the results? Like, have you presented any findings there yes. for the low predictions or for the predictions? Yes, we have done studies that we are going to share in the very near future okay. once we will have the CE mark clear. Okay, so yeah. that's my next question. You're, you're looking into CE mark right now, yes. so that's, that's already going? Yes. Okay. So our plan is to get the CE mark and okay. launch this solution within specific selective Okay. European markets. Okay, yeah, this CE, mark, year. CE mark is for Europe. Do you have any plans to look at uh, the United States and, and talk to the FDA about this? Hopefully, yes. We want to have access to give access to our solution for the majority of the patient. US definitely is on the, on the plans, but I cannot share more at this point in time. We're doing it step by step. Great, well, yeah. awesome. Thank you so much. You're welcome.
As more information on the CGM releases, I will definitely be putting out videos here on YouTube and my social media channels. Maybe they'll even come on my podcast. You hear that, Roach? I've got a lot more content coming from this convention already on the channel, so check out those videos. And I've got more coming, so be sure to subscribe to the channel. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. I'm Justin, and I'll take you later.